Hey everyone, SillyCat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network. In the last episode, we talked to Shode, who revealed that he's trying to figure out where the World 3 server is. And he dropped the hint that any World 3 member should know where the address is. So, who do we know that quit the World 3 recently? Hmm, I wonder. Light change already. The froggy. So that thing automatically like recycles the paper. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, since I've got so many chips while I'm here, I might as well uh use the super trader, so gonna pause the recording here and waste all of my chips. Okay, wow, I got a chip for number man three from that trade. That's awesome. Let's talk to Higsby now. You want it inside the internet, huh? Okay, huh? Thanks to you, I got a world three, huh? But thank you, I'll get you into the internet, huh? I sent the codes to your pet, huh? Go towards Dentown in the net, huh? There's a access point there. Use the code on the at that memo, huh? That'll get you in. Huh. Hey look, it's uh Vile from Mega Man X. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> Alright, so let's log into Land's PC. And let's check out the internet. Let's go. wasn't anything to buy there, I guess, that I didn't already buy. Come on, gimme dash G! No! Stupid fishy. Die! Die again! Dash B! I want dash G! <clears throat> Do I have a dash G by, like, accident? Or... No, I don't. Do I have a mech guard G that I missed? Nope, just A's and L's. Hmm. I could really use this to build up my folder a bit. I think the best way to get the G code on some of these chips is to just let yourself get hit. Sometimes, and sometimes that'll give you the right code, but in this case it didn't. Alright, now we're on the Metro Line site. Going up from here takes you to the government complex. Going down and to the right leads to Dentown. Going down to the left leads to ACB Town. Alright, let's go to the government complex first, because I want to check out that undernet. Also, there's a World 3 door we can unlock somewhere in each of the internets we've been to, I think. Okay, here would be a good spot to hope we get one of the gut shoot chips we've been looking for. My folder is a lot weaker than it could be at this point in the game, I just haven't been grinding enough to get the 
what chips I need. I've mostly been getting zennies, as you can see by the size of my wallet. <laughs> Uh, is this right? At least I got my, uh, duplicate Sonic Waves to back me up, although I could also use some Dino Waves right about now. And maybe sometime and before the World 3 scenario, I can, uh, head over to the traffic lights and grind a bit. Then again, the Tar Freeze are pretty rare there. What to do, what to do. Bam! <laughs> oh. Eh. Took quite a hit to my busted level, though. Uh, this is just where Stone was. I should also go ahead and get a couple more Gutsman 3s because Gutsman because Gutsman's first chip is kind of lame. It's more powerful in the second game than it is in the first. If I feel like doing a full walkthrough, if I feel like doing a full guide for these games, including where to get all the chips, I might just do that, but right now I just don't really feel the need to. I mean, I'm gonna do the secret content and stuff, but I have no intentions of getting all the stars. It's kind of hard to get all the stars on any of the games. The only game I've really come close to getting them all is uh, Battle Network 3, and even then I was never able to do it because I only had one version of the game. There's the gate. The World 3 gate, that is. Fire Tower M, not bad. Okay, here we are, government complex. At least I think this is government complex. Haha, <laughs> you die. Awesome, I got crossbow. Here's a uh, mystery data, and let's talk to this guy. There's a couple HP memories here we can get, that's good. Quite a lot, actually. Uh, wait, what? What else do you have there? It's panel 3. And that's useless considering my folder's based on Guts Man. Um, let's see. As you can see, I now have 460 HP instead of 360. That's good. <coughs> I've never tried doing a 100 HP run of this game. I don't even know if that's... Well, it's definitely possible, but I don't know if it would be worth the trouble of doing. Here's Dad's PC, so this is the government complex. Just as I thought! Up there leads to the undernet, but I want to check out the World 3 gate first. 
This is Fighter Sword B. Awesome. I can use that with uh, a couple other chips to make a really good program advance. Anyway, here's the under. As Lan says, this is pretty deep in the net. I doubt this area has anything to do with the World 3. But we want to go here anyway because there's some awesome stuff to be found here. Here are the uh, aura viruses that dude was talking about. As you can see, the aura says 10, which means he can be broken with just the charge shot. They're co this variety of virus is called a uh, Megalian A, A for Aqua, because the aura is blue and supposedly weak to electricity. At least that's how it works in the second game, I don't know about this one. Alright, so here's an interesting trick with Gutsman. As long as he hits a solid panel, he'll hit everything for 100 damage, or whatever his attack power is with his chip. So yeah, interesting thing to keep in mind, if you want to have a folder with, that looks like mine. I want to take out the fishy too as quickly as I can so he doesn't set the whole arena on fire. Then again, he could be useful detonating the mines. Got him. Then I just use my buster on this guy. 64 damage to a charged shot. That's not bad at all. In this game, the Buster is your most powerful asset. Well, 3, sir, it's not around here. That's what you're looking for, you should go back. Oh, really? Entrance for World 3 personnel. Ah, dang it. I can't get in. Why can't I get in? I have Pigsby's thing. Eh, whatever. Let's just take this guy out. Deal with this bagworm thingy. Die. I forget what those things are called. Poppers, I think? I don't know. Wood Tower K. Sweet. Um. This isn't getting me anywhere, is it? And I'm running low on time, too. What do you know? Then again, with all the random encounters that have been going on, I can probably run to like 17 minutes or so and still have a lot of time left over if I edit out all the random encounters. That all depends on how much I'm talking during the random encounters, though. If it's necessary, I can keep running to like 6.30 and then just... Uh, <clears throat> edit everything, and then just break it up into multiple 15-minute segments. That's what I've done for a couple of the episodes I've recorded. Or medallions. Oh, check this out. Shockwave slaughters these guys. See? some sauce. Yeah, I've gone over 15 minutes. I think I'm gonna 